What is up, Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan, and what do you know? We're back here at the Universal Orlando Resort for yet another Jurassic Roller Coaster Project construction update. Yesterday we were here and we saw some Velociraptors, as well as an Osprey on top of the top hat, and a train on the brake run. Hopefully they are continuing with the pull through. There's a lot to see and do. Let's go. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty much the same as yesterday. We have more important things to cover. Yes, a train on the track. Hello again, Lighthouse. Yep, that's right, we're Islands of Adventure. Ticket windows are not busy at all. Turnstiles on the right are closed, just like yesterday. Ones on the left are open, and there's no way. Yep, no way to get through, and we are on our way. Alrighty guys, let's check out the wait times. The park is open until 6 p.m. Hulk right now currently is 15 minutes. Doctor Doom is 5 minutes. Spider-Man 10 minutes. Kong is 15. P Flyers 10 minutes. Forbidden Journey was 10 minutes. You can see 5 minutes for some of the smaller attractions here. On the next page, Hogwarts Express 15 minutes. 75 minutes for Hagrid's. Jurassic Park River Adventure was 10 minutes. And Dudley's was 5 minutes. And here we go. Again, a partial train is on the track right now going backwards through the course. So they're doing a pull-through test. Intamin usually does this on all of their attractions. And well, the Jurassic Roller Coaster, no exception. That's who it is, folks. The live rafter is again perched atop of the top hat. Nice to see the Osprey again. Popeye and Bluetooth is open and that means so is the viewing area. Let's go get an up close view of that train. so slowly, literally like a couple inches every couple minutes. All right, so crews have attached the cable to the back of the train now, so we should see some more movement. There it goes. Remember how we said the pull-through process is a slow going one? Well, it's been about two and a half hours and they've gone eh, roughly about 15 to 20 feet.
Yep, they're still working on the midway over here by Kong. Well, this is different. The Camp Jurassic sign is getting some painting done to it. here by the Jurassic Park River Adventure and again Wall City they haven't added anything new over here but some of the tarps are down on the rock work Looks like we have a lot of plants and foliage going in right now. That's good. I want this thing to look like a jungle. Bypass bridge area looking just about the same. Unfortunately, that bridge itself not open right now. We can see those, of course, braces for the netting right over there. Well, the rumored locker area is getting some work. We've seen, uh, well, crews on here for the last week or so, and we're now seeing rock formations starting to head up that wall. So now we're over here by three broomsticks and we can see the train continuing with its pull through. Nothing new really over here today except for a little bit of grading with the ground. And here we can see the Osprey. Fly, little buddy. Claim your rightful spot at the top of the top hat. A couple updates ago, we had a photo opportunity spot over here with characters from DreamWorks. We had them from uh, Kung Fu Panda and Madagascar.
fishies. Oh wait, there they are. Guys, that's going to do it for another update here from the Universal Orlando Resort for the Jurassic Roller Coaster Project. And it was a monumental day as we had a partial train doing a pull through backwards through the course. So they're doing the second half of the ride right now, and I'm thinking that's because there's a lot of stuff going on in the front half of the ride. That's going to be going on for at least another week, probably. So that means we're pretty much going to be living here. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I will see you out on the Midway.